The 1978 Lancia. Wow. Very different. It looks very different. It's another one of one. One of a kind. So Lancia has not put a vehicle out for quite some time and one of my clients got very anxious and wanted to purchase one desperately. So he invented one. He invented one. He invented one. He's a, he's one of a, he's a history nut. He loves all the history of the racing and rallying from Lancia. You know, and uh, he loved the Scorpions, the 037s. This is a modern day interpretation of a 037. All right. Well, so where should we start? Well, there's about eight different vehicles that got this to come to, to light. We tried to utilize things that were already possibly available from a 1967 hood scoop from a GTO, but obviously more modernized, all the way to Porsche Macan running gear. You've got motorcycle headlights. But then we've incorporated our own luxury design that we've done on things like Bugattis and Paganis and that nature. So we've incorporated a lot of luxury items in that you would normally find on most supercars. This grill material we've had left over from other Bentleys that we've been working on, so this is stainless steel grill. But everything we've done is very thematic from the way the lines come in to the lines go down. It's peat, repeat, peat, repeat, peat, repeat. I'm loving this grill. And I love the shape you just said, as everybody could see that. We've just made that entire car so much longer than what it should have ever been. And then coupled with all of that, I, what we've also done is we've also styled these lines on the side of the car as well. Without these lines, the panels look so large. When you start to create the lines, you compartmentalize the panels. So now, this looks like this front fender just sort of rolls straight off and continues down versus looking at a large fender. And then at first we only had one fin in there and it just wasn't working right. So, when you, you know, when you see an aggressive animal in the wild and it's got the gills like a shark, it just starts to bring that animal instinct back into the, the build. And then the martini racing, these are all hand, uh, hand painted with a pinstripe uh, set up there. The wings we made, the diffusers are uh, 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 3 16 aluminum. We pre-brushed them, then anodized them. If anybody ever played with a record as a child and seen that holographic effect, yeah. the, the rocker panels do that as well, same as a, same as a, a record. Let's see if we, can, we might be able to capture it. So can you see the way the light? Oh, yes. See the way the light is? Yep. So as you walk by the car, if you're not paying attention to it, it will grab your eye in the sun because you'll see it'll follow you. So it's very neat. Also, the you know the pinstripes pop yeah, just a little bit. The just makes it it sort of brings the the car off the car. You know, it brings a lot of things. But everything. Of color. You, what is the color of this? It's, it, okay, I'm gonna take a guess. Go for it. And obviously, I'm going to be wrong because one of a kind car is gonna have a very custom color. Yes. But I see this, and I'm thinking, um, what is it? It's not dove. Robin's egg. It's interesting. So, okay. we started out with a new Corvette color. A new Corvette color. A new Corvette color. color. We started out with a white. This car is actually white, although you see blue. Get out of here. The car is actually white. So, just like we spoke about the inducting of this, the satin clears, when the sunrise is coming in and when the sun hits this, it's only white. As it gets darker, the blue pearl kicks in and you see the blue. So, it depends on what time of day it is, it will be white or blue. I just have to put a stop there and just say that these colors that you guys do, mm -hmm. the custom colors and the stuff that you do with it. Outrageous. It, it, it's outrageous. You know, often I'm like, all right, I'll take my sunnies off and I'll have a look to see the exact color. But my sunnies are off and you're telling me that this is white. It will be. So if I put a little light near it, okay. look how the color starts to go more and more white. Oh, it does too. But then again, if it's sunset, it's going to go more yellow. <laughs> but it, but. Uh, it's, it's a combination between the matte clear, so if you, if you purchased a brand new S65 Mercedes or S68 Mercedes or a new G-Wagon, you wanted that Mercedes satin matte finish, that's the same clear. So you started out with a high-end clear, but then you've got to tweak the color. So my brother, we have two painters, and they, they worked on this color for about three months to get the exact formula. It was either too much pearl, too less pearl, but the, the, the effect is stunning. So even though you see the blue through the shadows, 
The other side of the car gets brighter and brighter, but out in the sun, it's almost white. So the wheels are pretty neat. Again, the client was a, a Lancia nut, so he created the, uh, the logos with the Lancia, but we had the floating uh, set up there. Most of the rally cars back in the 80s, they had a very flat disc that would cover the rims to create you know, less uh, friction for the air. Yep. And also when they were off-road rally racing, they didn't want the mud getting on their brakes. So he created that thematic plate effect, to, but you know, more modern so you can see the brakes and everything of that nature. And he loves his lens here, hence lo the floating cups, does not want that turning. You got it, you nailed it. Even little, the tiniest details, this whole car, it's almost as if, wow. it's almost as if the blue touches the gloss black, touches the satin black, same thing. Blue, gloss black, satin black. There's a theme that just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating over and over and over again. As we get to the rear of the car, we've captured what the C8 Corvette has for a feature. It gives you that modern, aggressive feel, like the car's moving fast while standing still. The wide body accented the tires, of course, because they're so much wider now. And we, and we created this cut line. Originally, the, 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 cut, the owner wanted it to be smoothed out, but I said, no, you've got to compartmentalize. By adding each thing, you've created a shadow, which created more depth, which created more features to the car. So, you know, it's almost like having a woman wake up beautiful with no makeup in the morning. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, and, uh, you know, doing something of that nature. So if a woman wakes up beautiful, that's the one to keep. This is the same kind of uh, fashion. Fair enough. Love the spoiler. Look at this, everybody. It's worth a while. Total different, no? It's very different. Very, very different. So it's pretty wild. So we created it. We're, we're masters at acrylic. And okay. something futuristic would have something clear. Like, no matter how many wings you've seen, they're all aluminum or carbon fiber. What's the next evolution? So we've created the acrylic on there, which is a whole new setup. And everything's now is dovetail. This new dovetail, is, I'm called, you know. That's what the CA is They're all running that direction. And then we created just a little bit of light in there just to create a mood effect in the evening. And if you look really close, it's actually white on the inside, but black on the outside. Do you see the white? Yes, I do. So it's, it's actually white with black, because if I put my fingers here, my fingers absorb into the acrylic. So it's actually white and black at the same time. Although you see the black, all of the cavities are white. Same thing with the third brake light. Third brake light slash running light. And then this was really unique. So this is designed from the C6 Corvette down here. We needed to lower diffuser, but something traditional. So these are the C6 Corvette uh, tail lights. This rear is from a European Lotus, at least. So we needed something to start with. Again, we could make things from scratch on everything, but you, you can't always raise the cow to eat the steak. You gotta kind of fast forward it. The maintenance on this is very easy because if we need to access anything, we can remove the tail lights. But since we can't get to the back, what we've done is we've made magnetic tail lights so that we magnetic taillights that we can get in, reach in, quick change if we needed to work on something because you don't always have the ability to get behind it with tools anymore since we shortened the car seven and a half inches. And in the back here is where you press a rear engine? Nope, front engine. Front engine. Front engine, okay. but you need to access electronics or okay. you know because serviceability. Well? It's uh, up front as well, up believe it or not. Well. Okay. This is only for like deep maintenance. So how do you uh, you know change a light bulb or you know it can be it can be exhausting, believe it or not, on some of these cars to change anything. We've made it super simple. Wild. Almost like a Lamborghini door gas door, like a, like a, where like a Lamborghini door opens almost. Clears the wing just by just enough. It's a lot of fine work. Now before we move on, your customer designed this. Half and half. Half and half. He, so give, he gives me an idea and I've got to make it happen. Like, it, okay. like he'll bring me a hood scoop and I'm like, I got to make that work. Yep. He'll, he'll hand me a set of keys and goes, make this a crystal key out of nowhere. Like, you know. Uh, it's a tough job. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. In this build, is there anything that he said to you when you said, no, that's not possible? I did, many times. Okay, the, whole many times. the whole car. <laughs> the whole car. And it, it just, 
kept going and kept going and kept but going. You, be through and you keep going. The last, the last thing that was the hardest was the shift gate. He wanted a traditional shift gate like the original Ferraris in the 60s and 70s. And I went, you want a shift gate on a newer car? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And it took us a good three weeks to come up with a great plan for that. Something futuristic that would uh, model exactly what he wanted to do. Sounds like a very interesting person. <laughs> Why don't we have a look at the engine compartment sure. first and then we can sit down. What's up, Keith? It looks like a bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. I, I love all the comments with those, though. It looks like a chest of armor, mm -hmm. something that you would wear. It's brilliant. I haven't seen it like this before anymore. The engine cover is what I'm talking about here. Correct. So come on, tell us what's going on. Well, so in the event of building a concept car, most concept cars you see from Ford or Chevy or, or Ferrari, concept cars are never 100% complete. They're there to create ideas, generate hype, get people to fall in love with the idea and the concept so that it may be produced one day. That's the idea of any concept car. So what we have here is we had to create a V8 feel without being a V8. Okay. So we're actually a four cylinder. This is four cylinders. That's a four cylinder. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. That's the idea, is not to look like a four cylinder. It has to be the champion of champions of the look in hopes that one day it may be created by Lancia. But for now, we've got to create the look. We've got to create the look. But in reality, we're a four cylinder right now. Wow. You so did well. 28 to 30 miles per gallon, low maintenance, Easy, but fantastic like this, but this is just your daily driver Correct. to a whole new level. Exactly. But all the details have been done to the T. The owner's gone through great lengths to fill in all the details, create insignia that, you know, with the uh, specs. He's gone to so many lengths to create different uh, avenues for, for viewing. So he's crafty as well. Oh, yes. Very crafty. But he's brought me so many things from 1950, 1960. These are 1960 valve covers from an actual Lancia. Yep. And what we did is we created a, an aluminum platform to put them on and started welding pipes as if it would be a new intake. You know, but it's very easy, low maintenance. If we need to change the oil, the oil cap is there. There's the dipstick. It's simple, there's you know. Uh, he we wanted to bring a touch of vintage. Yes. He wanted to bring that touch in. Many of the components are vintage. The side blinkers on the side are from 1950 hubcaps. Okay. You know, so don't fall. I don't want you to trip. So far in this one, he's got about 350,000 in it so far. Very nice car. I just, I just sent a picture to my wife and said, "This is your next car, man." It's it's one of one. You know, so. I've had so many people come up and ask, well, when, when are they going to be available for purchase? I said, they're not. They're, this, is one of, this is one of one. This is... How long did it take to build it? Two years. Two years. Two grueling years. Yeah. There you go. Your wife will only have to wait two years. Two years. Not if I buy it today. Yeah, it, it, it would be gone. Yeah, that's that's how you get well, it's it. It's not sold yet, right? No, no. It's, uh, we're, it's not even going across the auction block. We bought it for a demo, and the, the, the owner's here, and he said, you know, if it's got to go, it's fine. It can sell, but it has to go to SEMA. That's the only major thing that he wants done, is it's got to go to SEMA. I agree. I mean, and he's got, he's got a, he want He wants the world to see what two years looks like and looks every single detail. It looks really good. I'm sure you've eyeballed everything across from top to bottom. and I've looked. Okay. You know, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of functionality. Well, let's go to the inside. Let's go inside. <laughs> What's the best way for that? Where do you want to sit? You want to sit in the driver's seat or? Well, maybe you should. All right, I would love to. Why would I ever say no to sit in the How's she feel? <laughs> this is the owner? Yeah, he's a nut. He's a nut. We should get him on film. But hey, before we um, go any further, I'm noticing carbon fiber here with the doors. How much does it weigh? 2,100 2, pounds wow. light. Fully loaded. Could be with passengers 2,375, give or take. And how much carbon fiber is there in this? 
It's more of a composite. More, we're more aluminum than anything. M aluminum, uh, steel, mild steel, and mostly composite. You know, so it's it's a hybrid. You, not all of it's carbon fiber. There's a hybrid composite SMC that's involved in the rear. Still very light. All Super light. Still aluminum and makes it still a very light Correct. Car. All right. So let's start from here. It looks beautiful. Love this. Absolutely love this. Traditional clock. Yep. Like a like a traditional supercar should have, or a vintage '60s. Vintage. Correct. Vintage. Very vintage. You know, you'll notice this light flashing right here. That's your Alexa. Since now we don't see your radios anywhere, like you wouldn't see it. In, you have the Alexa team up with your phone, and your phone Bluetooth to the car. Okay. So you say Alexa, play Pandora. Pandora comes on, or you play, you know, my favorite YouTube channel, yeah. or, you know, and then you have your volume up and down, and you just hands free more or less, and interact with the vehicle, you know. All the details have been pretty neat. This is one of the fun pieces. He made me create this key that lights up in order to start the vehicle as well as the Ferrari shift knob. And this is the infamous shift gate that was the okay, last. Monday. All right, brother. Hey, I might have found somebody for you. That's good. All right. I know, your dad's open. So if we, were to, if we were to turn the car on, now our shift gate lights up. Gives you a very futuristic feel. It does, doesn't it? And even all the way down to the master key that belongs in your pocket, all the way down to that because every supercar should have a fantastic key. So this is what remains in your pocket. This is what is necessary for the car, sort of like a launch. You know, all details are there. This is so different to so many of the other cars that I have seen everybody. Um, I do like it. I do like it a lot. It's got elements of vintage. There's so much class in here. It's very luxurious, yet it's very futuristic. It's, there's no future resto mods. Everything's a vintage resto mod. Exactly. And the reason that I'm loving this so much is because it's bringing the classics into the future. It's bringing the classics into the modern day world. Correct. And it's moving it forward. And I love any kind of a car that attempts to do that because it needs to be carried forward. So Absolutely. It's never forgotten because that was some of the best racing days. All rally. They were the best, best underdogs on the market, yeah. Lancia. And then you, I know you'll film this outside, but this this is neat too. Also, I know you'll end up filming that once it's out. Why not, right? Why not? It does not get better than this. Everyone. Why not, right? Look at that. Why not? Look at this, everyone. So much details. It doesn't end. It does not Underneath end. the cars, more more Easter eggs to find under the car, but more that's another need day. To have like mirrors underneath it, which I'm sure that if it's this wild. does go to SEMA, it'll be on a stand. I hope it that it's 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 meant for the person who just wants to find more and more details. And if someone owns it, the more they look, the more they'll find. The more they find, the more they'll look, and it, it is almost endless, all the way down to the gauges. How the the gauges have been retrofitted for the Lancia and all that as well. I love the pinstriping that has been carried forward here over the gauges and then again here on the doors. Very mild. Very mild. This back open to get out with ease and then I'm sure you want to probably make it. I mean, it's it's so much fun. Yeah, I want to stand up and... How wild is that? that. The uh, fully convertible getting back on. How wild is that? Absolutely wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild, everybody. Bella Jackson, did you believe it? I made it. I told you. <laughs> That's a long trip. It is. You ready for her? It's the best. It's got a cover. Why wouldn't it, you know? 
you know, this was a lot of work for you and I can see that. There's a lot of man hours there, but you love this. I love this. You absolutely love this. I could just All the way down to the Vintag, gross vehicle weight, 1978 Lancia. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, but but after the. This is absolutely brilliant. Well, I appreciate this so much. I wear you out with with the details. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Where are some more of the finer details that we have missed? Well, so. If you notice, all manufacturers, they also have their glass etched with, you know, DOT information. Each glass has been etched with the Lancia logos, with the elephant, and all the information. Each glass had to be done. Everything an OEM manufacturer would have, this has. Well, this is going to be rolled now onto the auction today. No, not today. This is actually for on, we're for here for exhibition. Okay. So th these aren't um, going across the auction block. Um, these are here to introduce us to everyone and say we are good with our hands. So the man is not interested in selling it, or? Oh, he'll sell it. It's, sell it's it? gone for sure. Okay. You know, it's it's he's, he he was just here complaining that we're done with the car. Really? And well, you put so much thought. But after two years, you you spend so much time with someone. Every you know he'll stop by after work, and from you know eight to ten o'clock at night, it's just master building, master building, and coming up with new ideas. And once it's done, yeah, you have it. But now you're you need a new a new you need a new mission. You need a new mission. I've heard that one before. He needs a new mission. I've heard so. that one before. But thank I you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely.